What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we're going to be talking about the Icebreaker, how it's obtained and I will also be showing all known ornaments we have seen so far. But before we get into the video, if you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment. Can we reach 6,000 likes? That would be absolutely incredible. Okay, so this information has already been confirmed by many different sources and it's how the Year 3 Icebreaker will be obtained. Now to accompany strike scoring within the dawning event, Zavala will offer bounties related to making your way through these strikes. Like the ones you get from Variks for the Prison of Elders, Zavala will offer a Nightfall bounty, which when you cash in obviously, you have a chance of getting the Icebreaker drop. Much like the Thorn quest from the Shiro bounties, but this time though, I don't think the Icebreaker will drop as a quest, but even so that would be pretty badass. Here's one quote of many from Game Informer on this weapon. By participating in these bounties, players can acquire one of the long, absent, exotic weapons that dominated year one play, the exotic sniper rifle, the Ice Breaker. So if this only drops with a chance from a bounty, I'm guessing we will only have three chances per week to get this weapon. Hopefully though its drop rate is higher than that of the Fawn as many people I know had to wait months of doing every Shiro bounty before it dropped for them. Me personally I got the Fawn 4 times within 3 weeks so I can't really complain. So yes guys that's basically how the Icebreaker is obtained. What has to be my favourite exotic weapon of all time. Can't wait to see its role in year 3. Can imagine a shit ton of people will be using this thing in PvP. I personally cannot wait. So with the Icebreaker's return, we are also getting the Abaddon and the Nova Mortis. These are the two variants of the Thunderlord. The Abaddon being the Solar version and the Nova Mortis being obviously the Void variant. These two weapons have been known about 4 months and are finally making an appearance. Me personally, I ain't really a fan of the Thunderlord due to there being so many better heavies to use within the game. But pairing it with the right setup I suppose, it can have an impact. So the question is, how are these two obtained? All we know at the moment is they will come as part of an exotic quest when the dawning hits. How this exotic quest comes though, we have no idea at the moment. As soon as any info is dropped on the map, I will let you guys know. Okay, so with these three exotics, we are also getting a new bunch of weapon ornaments. So let's take a look at them and firstly we have this. It's called the Addendum and it's for none other than the last word. And it looks pretty epic to be honest. Next up we have Sequel, which again is for the last word and looks even better than the first, no puns intended. Next up we have the Steel Witch, this being an ornament for the Red Death. Next up we have White Witch, this again for the Red Death and this in my opinion looks fucking incredible. Okay so next up we have Dune Maker, this being for the Icebreaker and you know what I actually like it, I've seen some people bitch about it but it's different and I like that. Next up we have Nano Hans. Again for the icebreaker, this one in my opinion not looking as good as the first and not in my opinion as good as Bungie could have made it, but hey that's just my opinion. Next up we have Ragabone, this being an ornament for the black spindle. I don't know what to think about it to be honest, in some instances I like it but in others I think it looks like dog shit, but hey it might grow on me. Next up we have Cold Between Starts, this again for the black spindle, basically a Taken variant. Looks quite good though to be honest, but could think of better weapons that this ornament would have feared. Next up we have the Rose of Corruption, this being for the Fawn and lastly we have the Rose of Acid again for the Fawn, also in my opinion being the better of the two ornaments. And that is it guys for another video, hope you guys did enjoy it, do hit that like button and tell me in that comment section what your favourite new ornament is. Again thanks for stopping by and I will catch you on that next one.